Welcome to part five of Swap 2.0, in which we attempt to put a L76 or an LS2 into a 55 Chevy pickup truck. This is a this will be the weekend update. We're going to bring you up to speed uh, from the last time on part four. So we've got the low mount um, alternator, which we wanted to keep that. We got plenty of room, and we've just finished the power steering connection. And I want to talk a little bit about this because it's kind of tricky. This is a type two pump. And you can't really see it. You can just see it. There is a Russell. Russell makes a power steering adapter, which converts a metric. In this case, it's 14 millimeter by 1.5 to an AN6. So this is an older line that I built uh, some years ago with PTFE. And you can see the same thing. So you get these uh, adapters. This is a standard SAE to AN6 adapter, and it's the it's the easiest way that I know of to convert from metric to SAE. So you use the adapters. You use a regular hose that's um, have AN fittings, and on this one I used some new style clamps. They're PEX style. I mean, I only know PEX is plumbing, but they make um, a set that you can use in automotive applications that are smaller. I got that on, on Amazon, so just look for pinch style clamps. So we've rummaged through the wiring, and you, you end up with, with two or three circuits. This particular situation, we have the starter case on the passenger side and the alternator on the driver's side. So since we're using the Ron Francis wiring, they actually have two circuits, which are one for the alternator here and one for the starter. They're the same circuit. And if you have a alternator on the passenger side, that can run together. So that just runs with your positive lead off your, off your battery to the starter, goes to um, the main fuse panel, and then the alternator connects to it. So we'll, uh, later on I'll show you what we're doing inside. So I've been trying to cut through this wiring. There's tons and tons of wiring for 40 years. Most of it is not used anymore. And I'm trying to carefully go through it and uh, eliminate what's not, neat, what's not necessary. So here's a quick view of the Willwood. Uh, I haven't used this particular one before. Uh, I like to use the double eight for the vacuum. Um, and then this is a, uh, an externally adjustable, we haven't mounted it yet, uh, proportioning valve that'll fit in there. We also upgraded the um, uh, serpentine belt, of course, brand new one. And then this is the, um, this is a summit, which is an adjustable um, water neck that allows you to uh, connect to your new radiator. So stay tuned for the next section. We're now in the cab, and this is probably one of the most daunting tasks for people who are unfamiliar with wiring. So what I do, um, I build the schematic. So there's electrical theory, there's schematics, and then there's what you really have. So I try to, to build a design that mimics the actual layout of the vehicle, so it gives me an idea about what's going on here. So in this particular one, we normally have three subsystems. You have the engine itself and its electrical demands, which usually includes the fan relay and the fuel pump. Then you have Dakota Digital. And then this one, we're actually using Vintage Air. So we've replaced the original AC, which didn't fit. And we've got a Vintage Air, which is going to use low mount. So when I first started, this thing was just completely jammed full of wiring and hoses and everything else I couldn't get to anything so I've slowly methodically culled out all the wire that's not necessary and I guess what I would say is that out of all the ones that I've done I've done about 10 of them now it's best to just to <laughs> rip everything out and start from scratch so let's see if I can get down there and I can show you what the the Ron Francis looks like the Ron Francis is um from 1993 
and I'd like to keep as much of it as possible, but there's so much redundancy and craziness that's gone over the years that the best thing to do is just um, remove as much as you can and things like the electric tack, you know, that's not going to work. So I've called it out to these wires here, which is your basically your turn signal, left turn, right turn, your gauge, um, lighting, etc. This one's really cool. This is the um, vintage air electronic conversion from your cable. So it, it replaces all the cables that you normally have and it fits in there. It's, it's supposed to fit over here and this side, but this one is welded in place. So I chose to take out the ashtray and put it in there. Needs a little bit more help down here in the bottom to, to fit perfectly. But so we're going to use that. And then the vintage air will go back down in this big giant hole. And the vintage air is really designed well. I'm, I'm not really looking forward to it. It's 26 pages of insta installation, but that's what Seraphim wants, so that's what we're going to get him. And um, so we're, we're moving along pretty good. I'm at about three or four weeks right now and hope to get the wiring um, tied up and get the Dakota Digital Box in place um in the next few days so thanks for watching and see you soon bye